this is George Senda, the real, official, authentic, original, the one, the only, the official, the guy from Pittsburgh, except no cheesy commentators, imposters, or trolls, or trolls from the evil troll website. And this has been an absolute nightmare, 24 hours. T-Mobile cut up my internet because they thought I had a cell phone. And then track phone cut off my cell phone because I had a cell phone at 3 o'clock in the morning. And then we put the ad up for the Prius and a troll published it on the evil website. The phone number has been removed. Kathy's going to change her phone number. And then they, one guy sent me, you know, starting up there, oh, what is the price of the car? And I'd like, I, you know, I refurbish cars. Then it went, he wanted to know the mechanic, he wanted to know the VIN number. I go, no, 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 you're not going to know the mechanic, you're not going to know the VIN number. All the information is in the ad. And then the third or fourth email, he insulted me, my intelligence, implied I'm stupid. You'll never get the price you want. Well, we've already, we paid $4,000 for the car. I forgot about the repair at the Toyota dealer. That was $300. Uh, 900 to fix the, replace the head gasket and the um, catalytic converter. So that's 900, 1200, and then 250 for the battery. That's 1450. We have to recoup our losses. So I put 3500. We only go down further. And then I'll have to pay for registration. I haven't had the chance to sit down and go to the DMV website and figure out how much we own the registration. And I'm willing to lower the price to cover the cost of them having to register the car, but it's a parts car. And uh, then another guy comes in, I'll offer you twelve hundred and twelve fifty. I said, You're being insulting, go away. So I blocked both these people because they both had the same name. And uh, and the same style. It's the same person and it's a troll that published on the evil website. So tomorrow, Kathy's phone number will be changed, and I'll have them contact me. I do not want her harassed. They're not going to lower her location. And then I, it, I spent an hour on the phone with T-Mobile and about a half an hour on the phone with TrackPhone. It was easier than to get a hold of TrackPhone than it was T-Mobile. So now I'm back on the Internet. All right, here's what I bought, and I'm going to put this stuff away. I've been sitting here for a while, but I had to talk to Kathy and Kathy, and, Kathy and I started talking all stuttering. All right, two Supreme Pizzas. When in doubt, when in stress, eat pizza. We have the Giant Sandwich. Cheap, five bucks. Premium Deli Honey Ham. Baby Brussels Sprouts, lightly sauced. And I feel like getting sauced. I made the manager safely cracked up. I said, I don't drink much. But I sure feel like it tonight, <laughs> the night and the day I had. Sat out there at 4 o'clock in the morning trying to get on the T-Mobile website to pay my bill, and then it said, you must go to the store. And I could not get hold of track phone at all. And it was 15, 16 mile an hour winds here. It's been howling all night, all day. It's freezing. All right, Dove dark chocolate for Kathy. Um, and one of my bags tour. Green Giant Simply Steamed Broccoli and Cheese Sauce. I don't know where I'm going to put all this stuff, but I'm going to figure something out. Because the damn turkey is in there. I'm going to go damn it. I shouldn't say. A loaf of bread. You yeah, forget. Stop doing that. And Johnny Cat. I've run out of cat liners. Someone sent me cat liners, but I don't know where I put them. And see, I have two bird unboxing. I will do that tomorrow and Sunday, and then two rolls, three rolls of Mexican toilet paper, the ever popular Mexican toilet paper. And finally, the comfort food from Pennsylvania, a true Pennsylvania company, Snyder's of Hanover, hard pretzels, because when I need stress food, Pennsylvania Dutch pretzels are the way to go. All right, now if you give me a moment, I'll put all this stuff away. My back is hurting because I had to carry all this stuff. Freezing inside of Safeway with the air conditioner freezing. Outside of Safeway with hauling wind. Nobody can hear me on the phone. Oh, wait a minute. There's something else here. Here comes a fuzzy cat. 
we have, I forgot about this, two cans of turkey gravy, and uh, a jar of Welch's grape jelly, my favorite jelly in the world. Yeah. <clears throat> Somewhere in here. And then a can of turkey and then Frisky's salmon for orangey. And there's another there was an, oh one one thing rolled under the seat in the bus. I lost the can. The bag tipped over, so I missed that somehow. Most of the morning. I bought two cans of cat food. The orange you'll get one. I gotta order my reorder my cat food tomorrow. Alright, just a minute, I'll be right back. I'm gonna put all this stuff away. Uh, oh, my back is killing me. <clears throat> the guy at uh, track phone kept uh, talking so fast I couldn't understand them and then I couldn't understand the I made four calls to T-Mobile before I got somebody I could understand. <clears throat> they kept breaking up too. Ooh, it's a good one. Hold on. Almost done. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay, I'm back. I don't know why sometimes the chat shows up and other times it doesn't. No one's in chat. That's interesting. Well, I guess I'm talking to myself. I haven't eaten anything all day. Well, if no one comes in and chats soon, I'll just quit. Oh, hello, open hand. Welcome. Finally, someone comes in.
I don't know where people get their ideas. Without looking it up, I looked up the Prius battery, refurbished, seven hundred dollars. The cells ranging from twenty nine dollars to sixty for one cell. And there's about fifty or seventy five cells in the Prius battery. You can buy them in lots of ten at a time. The transmission's a thousand. The air conditioner's a thousand. The GPS system is eight hundred. As a parts car, the car is worth three thousand dollars minimum. If you're a mechanic and you want to test these cells with a voltmeter to see which cells are bad, you pull the bad cells out. You put the new cells in. You put the battery back in the car. You got a good battery. Now I have checked the Prius. I have on saved my eBay. Prius engine is about nine hundred dollars. So you seven hundred dollars for battery, brand new engine, which means it's basically a brand new car. The transmission ran fine with this car. The air conditioning runs. It needs two new tires or, or used tires. It's got a leak, and the paint is oxidized. You may or may not be able to fix it. Was that the way I got it? And the guy said the guy left it in the sun, so we should have not bought it. That was a mistake. But so. Uh, but if you add it up, you got a thousand for the transmission, eight hundred for the GPS. That's what you buy on eBay as a replacement. The dealer costs eight hundred to a thousand as an option. It's not always come with the car. Air conditioning system is at least eight to a thousand, so that's twenty eight hundred dollars right there. The small battery is two fifty, brand new battery, so that makes it three thousand fifty dollars. We won't take lower than three thousand dollars. I'm not going to take it at twelve hundred. Then the guy, the same guy, wrote me back. I'll, I'll offer you twelve fifty. Well, you can take your offer. You know where you can put it. So, four door, four door car, hatchback, Toyota Prius. Look at him, <laughs> open hand. Until recently, the number one car in California for sales. Now outdone by the Tesla, but that's out of our price range by about $50,000 or <laughs> more, more. Unless you're Sam Crack, who got a Tesla and a friend of his got a Tesla and totally built a new Tesla out of about five different Teslas. Weird black guy. Not because he's black, because he's weird, but he is black. And they're pals, but he he did something to screw up this Tesla he got. No, I'll never fix it. You see sparks fly. I don't know if it's a joke or not, but Sam Crack buys a lot of cars from Copart, and he just bought a Range Rover with an engine, a twenty thousand dollar engine that the dealer destroyed because of one part and the timing chain. They no longer do timing belts, they do timing chains. And the Range Rovers are notorious for engine problems. So, $100,000 car with a $20,000 engine. I forget what the part was, it goes in the in the valves. And that broke off and that screw, that and the timing chain screwed up the engine. $20,000 engine shot. Well, they went online, got the parts, and now they're working on replacing the parts. No. <laughs> S-A-M-C-R-A-C. Sam Crack. He's in Florida. He's got over a million. He's got over a million views. Each one of his videos does about 22,000 views. So, uh, Oh, and I forgot, the other popular peach snapple. And I've never understood why these people from the evil website bother to harass me and harass my beloved Kathy. All we are trying to do is survive make our life a little better and we're not doing anything to anybody and that's my toes hurting Ow.
Well, I don't know a lot of people personally. But I know a lot of people online. I have over 250 subscriptions on YouTube, so I watch a lot of videos. Cat videos, financial videos, too many new news and the stimulus check that will never arrive. The second stimulus check. As far as I'm concerned, they're all clickbait. If Trump signs a legislation and sends us twelve hundred or two thousand a one-time payment, then I'll believe it. Until then, anybody who says there's new news, they're all putting out these videos every day, and it's all um, crap. Does it mean now they're talking about four hundred a week for unemployment? The employment numbers came up; they're better, but they're still fourteen percent out of work. Trump is saying the economy is rolling back. The stock market is up 800 points today. But the stock market is a bubble. There's no real reflection of what the economy is like. We're still in a corona. And people are getting infected all over the country still, but yet, you know. So, and it was 67 today. Hello, Beverly. Welcome. And by the way, I knocked this over twice. Knocked my water over. Much my discomfort. Didn't have, I didn't have a lamp on. I reached for the water. Boom. Reached for the water. Boom. Oh, my God. They were nice enough to do give me a roll of quarters to say please, so I will do coin roll running tomorrow. One roll of quarters, that's all I can afford. <laughs> so I've done nothing all day except sleep, battle T Mobile, orangey. It's bed in the morning. You don't have the strength. Oh, by the way, Patty gave me this cane that sits straight up with four feet. It's too heavy for me. It hurt my hands. I used it last night. Hurt my hand right to bones all the way across here. I can't use it. I threw out a big bag of garbage. I've got another bag of recyclables to throw out. I threw out more recyclables. And then this weekend, I will finally tackle the stuff that's on the floor of the kitchen since it's now cooled off instead of 94 of death heat. And I'll do a little laundry tomorrow. The last two days were horrible. The heat was, I was gas from the air the heat. And last night the winds were so cold and icy, I was gasping at all the, all the stuff in the air, and then today I was gasping. So. And these people start out nice in the first email, and by the second or third email, they turn out insulting me, and then I know they're trolls. Which is sad, because who gets harassed for trying to sell a car for his girlfriend? Me. Nobody else.
as two trolls using the same message, both insults, both disgusting. They're gone, they're blocked. Probably the same person using different different handles. They make up these names, you know, and, and email addresses. These people are sick. By the way, I, I've been to Baltimore a long, long time ago. Uh, messages are hidden. If they're insulting or spam like they get hidden, I look at them and I say, nope. Get out of here. Goodbye, troll. I've only had Johnny Walker black once. I'll just put it this way. There's a line they cross. They crossed the line and fell over the line. Not acceptable. And no one would accept that. These are people that never grew up. They think it's funny to try to post stuff like that, but they don't get, they don't get published. I mean, no one sees it. I tried scotch because my friend Jimmy Duan was thinking it at the Red Hour Festival. And I took a sip and I did not like it. But I drank it because Scotty was drinking it and I had to be mad and drink the scotch that the engineer drank. The great actor and nice fellow introduced his wife to him. And so, um, Sweet man, but he could drink. We watched him drink two bottles of scotch in one night. I'm talking big bottles, not no fifths. I think there were quarts. I don't know. I don't drink that much. But uh, subpar optimal. Interesting name. Now, it's a contradiction in terms. Optimal means great or... The greatest there is, and some are me below the great. So that's kind of funny. But it's still a great handle. So, uh, Wendy was his wife's name. And his son, Chris Duhan, played Scotty on Star Trek. Um, the um, Something good. The adventure continues, or something like it, with um, uh, God, I can't think of his name now, but anyway, they had 13 episodes and it was great, but they were all serious. I wanted them to do one fun episode, and they didn't do it. So, um, not James Colley, who also played James Tiberius Kirk, Vic Monog Monogna. I'm probably pronouncing the name wrong. And um, great stuff. The two best Star Trek uh, homages there are on YouTube. Well, they're still protesting, but apparently, according to the Contra Costa Times and the uh, Chronicle, peaceful protesters, no riots here. No protests here. Safely was packed full of people. And I don't care how many six foot distance thing they put on the floor. It's almost impossible to go somewhere in Safeway and keep six feet away from somebody because there's so many people in there. And this one young lady I beat her lap I went down the aisle and there she was she turns a corner I go one aisle over 
I go up, I come down the other way. There she is again. I saw her three times. I said, you're everywhere. She laughed. It's amazing. So I've not looked at the news all day. And except that the mayor of D.C. Want, refuses to allow the National Guard not to stay in hotels, and she wants them out of her city. They plan to do a million-man march protest on Washington, D.C. I don't know if it's going to happen with Al Sharpton. So, and Governor Newsom did something today. I don't know what the hell he did. It, 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 his speech was ridiculous. I listened about five minutes. I couldn't take it anymore. He... Uh, I started talking about a young girl who was cleaning the graffiti for hours off a of monument to police. And then he starts talking about legislation that the legislature passed regarding abuses by police. And I go, wait a minute, you're honoring the police on the one hand, and then you're talking about police abuses. And yet we've had, we had a policeman in, uh, in St. Louis, retired police chief, uh, captain and chief, killed by the looters. And he was black. He was 72 or 76. He went back to the job because he wanted to, he couldn't stand up being a cop, and he wanted to work for the community. And he was working at a friend's pawn shop, and the looters showed up, and they shot him and killed him. So, well, anytime you say they're all peaceful, a certain element or not, they found guys, they found one guy uh, I heard on KFDK, he was stalking. California Democratic Governor Newsom. He had axes, knives, swords, hammers, guns, ammunition. Showed up in Newsom's home. They, the CHP tracked him down and he's under arrest. Now you tell me, what does that guy have to do with stalking the governor? And uh, my nickel from my piggy bank, I now have, oop, wrong piggy bank, that's the pennies, $2.52 in pennies, and, excuse me, $16.40 in nickels and dimes. So, and I would remind you, they talked about Trayvon Martin, who had a criminal record. They talked about the fellow in had his name this afternoon, I forgot it. They talked about the fellow in Ferguson, Missouri, criminal record. He stole a box of a Swisher Sweets from a, a convenience store. That's how he got stopped. And they tried to grab the gun of a cop out of his holster and tried to shoot the cop. And they showed up at the cop's house and harassed his children and wife. Hands up, don't shoot. And both guys were said to be, they were nice guys. They were quiet guys. They were peaceful guys. Then you find out they got a record long as their arm. And then Mr. George Floyd. He was on two different drugs. They were not prescription drugs. They were illicit drugs when he died. And he was tested positive in April for coronavirus. And for all I know, he probably might have gone out there, let's pass a 20 of our bill. They'll call the police and I'll get to infect me some cops. Now the Minnesota mayor or police commission has banned the use of chokeholds and they passed the thing that the court has to approve this. I don't know why the court has to approve this. Uh, courts seem to dominate everything in the, our society when it comes to police. And they said any officer who has to report that immediately and the third thing, and I agree, any complaints about police have to be adjudicated and either found right or corrected or dismissed within 30 days. There are too many complaints. There are a lot of complaints about police that they're perfectly innocent. Now, I'll tell you a story that happened today. A positive fellow in, 
I don't remember where it was. But it was a city back east. And the protesters were demonstrating peacefully. And he went up to the cops. He thanked them for what he did. They do. He said, I'm a vet. I'm disabled. I want to report a crime. Somebody stole my American flag and my flagpole. Gave his name. Didn't give his address. Went home. A couple hours later, there's a knock on the door. There's three cops at his door. They brought him a new flagpole. They brought him a new flag. They installed it. He thanked him profusely. An hour later, one of the cops, the protesters were getting hot from the heat, and he gave out, he gave first aid and gave them water bottles and didn't attack them, didn't molest them, didn't shoot rubber bullets or tear gas at them. Help the people out. That's what you do if you're a decent person. And yes, he does, because he told me online. And you're a, you're a, so, uh, goodbye. I eat one of these every couple of months, maybe, and it takes me... Well, I don't know about that because I have seen people get hurt. I've also seen peaceful protesters fight with other protesters because someone starts agitating or talking smack. And I spent an hour talking on the phone with, with him, and he told me he eats something, whether it's Hot Pockets or a sandwich from Ray Rogers or a sandwich from Arby's or some local takeout, and spits the food in the bucket. I should have recorded it. Then there weren't any questions that would come straight from his mouth. He just trolls constantly come in here and try to disturb anything. I'm not even a tolerant. I get blocked from the hell of you. And if someone gets hurt, I would remind you last Sunday, a female Amazon driver in Long Beach, I don't know if they pulled her out of the truck, the van, but a black thug, a looter, grabbed her by the clothing, pulled her to the ground, then kicked her in the head. And then they looted her van of all the Amazon packages. And for all I know, they might have said it on fine. I saw that live on the local TV station there, on YouTube. So all those people waiting for their Amazon packages didn't get them. Amazon lost money. And that, that driver now may have been injured for life. That's not acceptable, in my opinion. And you have too many people trying to give justification for rioting, looting, and burning. There is no justification for a rioter. You want to protest peacefully, that's your right as an American. You cross that line into criminality, then you're a thug, you're a criminal, you're a terrorist. You burn down innocent people's businesses, their homes, their cars, you assault people. Wrong, 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 and wrong. And they know it. I've seen signs at Ferguson and other places. Kill the cops, kill Whitey, kill, kill, burn, burn, loot, loot. That's not acceptable either. And I don't understand the mindset of these people. 
because they have to have had these feelings for a long time. And a lot of them are getting agitated by Antifa and other groups and their paid agitators who come in. They arrested uh, some people in cars and their car, they were from out of state in New York today or yesterday. I haven't read all these stories at length because I've been dealing with this other stuff. Something email and they, the cars are full of crowbars which are good for prying off the wood off of windows and doors so you can loot. And some guys had gasoline, and bottles, and rags for Molotov cocktail. I have a crowbar right behind me, and it cost me seven or eight dollars. So you can spend seven or eight bucks on a crowbar, and you're carrying around a crowbar. I'm mad at certain things, but am I going out looting even if I'm in perfect health and 30 years younger? No, it wouldn't be right. I make jokes about losing a Mac Pro from the Apple store because I love a Mac Pro. I wouldn't really do it. I'm mad about I'm mad about that we have executives that make 15, 20, 30, 50, 75, 100, 250 times the average worker. And the first, when there's a downturn in the economy and they lay people off, do they lay off the CEO? Do they lay off the board members? Do they lay off the CFO? Do they lay off the chief chief accounting officer? No. They lay off Joe and, and Sam and Ralph and Susie and Sally and Maisie. The low-end workers, the tellers, the clerks. Big boys never get laid off, and then if they do lay them off, they give them a golden parachute, give them five million, ten million, fifty million, so the American to get stock, and they get to run away, and they got forty or fifty million bucks. That's wrong. There was a guy who ran Merrill Lynch into the ground. They gave him a golden parachute. There was a guy who ran Citibank. They gave him a golden parachute. Five million dollars, office for five years, corporate jet, and a secretary. I would have handed the New York subway token and said, good luck, have a good day, goodbye. You drove the bank into almost bankruptcy. That was Citigroup, Citibank. Other people have done the same. And even when there's not uh, downsizing, Charles Schwab is buying TD, TD Waterhouse. And they're moving all the employees and their headquarters in Texas can be cheaper in Texas. Yeehaw. Of course, that is subject to federal regulation, and there has been talk that they won't allow it because they'll be too big, too much control over IRAs and 401ks and I don't know what else. And then you have companies like Pennies that are going bankrupt. They're gone. They're history. How many Pennies workers came out of business? They're first going to close the stores in weak malls and then they I don't know if they're gonna stay alive or not. Sweet tomatoes is gone. Hometown buffet may be gone soon. Pier one imports imports, sorry. Hertz declared bankruptcy, although I, I saw Hertz van the other day. Well I believe in the redistribution distribution of wealth it will help stimulate the economy. Although they're saying that a lot of people according to one federal study by the CBO, they save their money. And the reason they're saving money, particularly if they've been laid off, is they're worried about they're not going to have a job for a while. They're not spending as much. No, I, we spent money on the stimulus. So we helped stimulate the economy. Well, I have around here, over there, about 200 books in finance. I used to have them by the front door, but that's all my paranormal books. I got to read three pages on the, the uh, police ghost stories. And I got Philadelphia ghost stories to read. And I, I've read about two chapters of the John Wayne book, so, but it's been too hot to read. But I have Susie Orman. I have Kramer. I have stuff going back to the 70s. I even have a book by Louis Rukeyser from Wall Street Week, which is positively ancient back in the 70s. My mother and I watched that religiously every Friday night on uh, K... Um, no, not KQED. Whatever the station is in San Francisco. The PBS station. 
We love Wall Street Week with the uh, talk about the uh, Frank Capriello. That was the only good. I, I can remember names from <laughs> 1975, but I can't remember other things. Paul said, my friend Paul said that something about uh, you, you start remembering stuff from the past, you can't remember what you did today as you get older. It drives me nuts. The elves were up with the old, he had an arrow, and he had a little cartoon of an elf was up, and a little cartoon of the elf was down. And I always thought he should have elves for sale. Like uh, Jim Cramer has the bulls and the bear. He like uh, squeezies. It's on my bucket list to, to get a Jim Cramer bull and a Jim Cramer bear. And I collect bulls being a, a Taurus. And I've always been bullish on America, even though I don't have a lot of money. If I had a lot of money, I would be investing two stocks, although get Kevin, or meet Kevin, does not agree. He says, go out and buy real estate. He's right. They'll never, uh, somebody said they don't make land anymore. And you make more money investing in land than anything else, but you've got to be careful what you're investing in. AT&T pays 7%. Wells Fargo Bank pays 7.7%. So if you're for the long term, you want to invest in those, assuming they don't lower the dividend. That's one hell of a yield when your bank accounts pay nothing. Your savings accounts don't pay a, a worth a dime. I think my ally account now pays 1.25%. They're pretty high. Capital One pays pretty high. They've dropped their rates too. They weren't paying 1.5%. You can get 7.7% for $26, and some brokerages like Robinhood, I'm not sure about Weeble. I signed up for Weeble, gave them all my information. I had to write them again. Hey, where the hell is my uh, account? You sign up with Weeble, you give them $100, they give you two free shares of stock. And then you, you do something else with them, they give you two more free shares of stock that can range anywhere from $2,500 to $2,500. To $2, you get a share of Amazon. But they wanted my ID, my social security card, my ad, my mail, my actual address. Sent all that stuff two weeks ago. I haven't heard a word from them. I gotta give, find out how to call them or something. And if I had money, I'd buy 100 shares of Wells Fargo, 100 shares of at and uh, One of the drug stocks working the vaccine. Um, I had 20 grand, get 10 shares of Amazon, get a few shares of Apple, and then look for something for growth. And just watch it like a hawk. If I knew how to do options, I would do that. I'm not about to do commodities. Oil hit about 37 a barrel from a low of zero, which is mind boggling. The gas a week ago was $2.00. Four cents, and now it's two dollars and sixty-nine cents here. Although back east, it's still incredibly cheap. And uh, we may or may not be in the summer driving season now. Hello, Gapper. Welcome. So, and they did a thing. If you save, you only. Kevin, me, Kevin said, if you save, you only put out like four times the amount of money. If you spend, it puts out as much as ten times. But the trick with stocks, I once bought a company called Zern Industries in the 70s. They made anti-pollution equipment. They made something for sewers. They made manhole covers. Bought it at 30, it went to 90, I sold it. But I was only able to buy two or three shares and then a lot of money. I bought GM at 30, it went to 60. My biggest mistake was not buying Wendy's at five. They had one restaurant in North Carolina. I said, oh, just what the world needs, another hamburger place. Like they aren't saturated with hamburger places already. That stock went to $45 a share and I had seven grand I could have invested. That would have cleaned up. So that's my big mistake. And I, w I kept looking at Apple in the 80s, I think, 
when it was at 12, and I should have bought every dime I could have grabbed my hands on an apple. I went to 600 before it dropped, and I would have made a ton of money. Didn't know about Amazon until it was way too, way too much to afford. And during the dot com, I said, don't buy it if it doesn't, if it doesn't have a brick and mortar store. Don't buy it if you can't buy it. You can't eat it, wear it, or put it in your tank. Red Gorilla, the sock puppet, pet thing, whatever that was called. So many of those dot com during the dot com boom companies went bye bye because there was nothing backing them up but speculation. No, that's different than penny stocks. Penny stocks are where they say, we got this new opportunity. These guys have a mining stock, or these guys invest, they're a drug company, or they're working on high technology, and they're currently selling for two cents a share, and we expect it to go to three dollars. And what happens is a bunch of people buy that stock, and it goes from two cents a share to maybe a buck, and then a buck and a half, then maybe two dollars, and then maybe even three dollars. But that's only a certain amount of people. And then once you get to three dollars, the bubble burst. It goes back to two cents a share again. You lose your ass. So, I think that was Pets.com, but I don't remember. They sold that. They sold the sock up at the rights. They sold the company. And they, I think they remarketed under under that name or another name online. I don't know what they were doing with that. Um, give me an idea. Another stock that was owned by Carlos Slim. He made his billions selling cell phones to Mexico and Latin America. He was worth $40 billion. He owned Comp USA. You may remember that. They sold mostly PCs and games. And, and he dumped $200 million into that company to keep it afloat in the 90s and 2000s. And eventually it died. And uh, the Comp USA brand is still out there on the Internet. But anybody, they declared bankruptcy. And he dumped his own money in to try to keep the company afloat. We, I used to go to Comp USA all the time. I bought memory there. I bought hard drives there. I bought disk drives there. I bought games there. I bought utilities. I bought another computer and I ran into money problems. I sold to Moroni for 300 a brand new compact for $300. I, I needed to pay the rent. And uh, I was going to get money so I could have it back, and I never could come up with the three hundred dollars. So, but uh, paid the bill for it. No, you are a troll, troll, troll. See, they come in here. Went to Circuit City a lot. Now you were sleeping, Max Spoofer. What's going on? See, you heard the dulcet tones of the guy from Pittsburgh. The emanations to the ether woke you up. How is the baby Harley and Bootsy the cat? Been talking about protesters, finance, what stocks you should invest in, what stocks you shouldn't invest in, oil prices, online trolls, excuse me, it's my evil plot to wake her up at all times, <laughs> do videos at three in the morning, just to wake her up, revenge! <laughs> oh, and I did my haul video. There you go. I'll show you two items since you missed it. Welch's grape jelly and Mexican toilet paper. Invest in Mexican toilet paper stocks. There you go. <laughs> and Dove from Caddy. And now it's time for a two Pennsylvania pretzel. Aww. She has. Bootsy the cat is about eight. You do not like the new kitten interloper. 
and the holly cat. Little black long-haired cute cat. Kitten. Who wants to make friends with Gucci, but Gucci said, I'm the queen here. How dare you come into my home? Um, this was 89 cents a roll. They had tons of toilet paper. I saw a six pack of toilet paper for $14.95. The price is outrageous. So I bought the cheap stuff, because I'm not going to pay $14.95. Let's see, six, that's $2 a roll. More than that, actually. I saw some rolls for, for $20. Now, I bought $0.89 cents a roll, about three of them. And this... This is made by Kimberly Clark, who made Kleenex, of course. So, this is Patalo Hygencio Tradicional. 260 sheets or something. There's Fuzzy. It's weird, they don't say it in English how many sheets are, but it's in Spanish. And this is made in Hidalgo, Ciudad de Mexico, which is a province. I think they filmed a John Wayne movie in Hidalgo. So when they have $20 toilet paper, I said, nope, not going to buy it, Gilgum. So they had different, they had the whole area full of toilet paper, and they had tissues, facial tissues, and that was empty, somewhat empty. And still, in the stores, I, I don't know if the company has gone out of business. <laughs> there is still no Lysol for my cat boxes. I got some of these big rolls of some brand. I bought a pack at Safeway or at Costco. I have a holder on my towel rack that holds four rolls of toilet. It's so damn big I can't get it out of there once I put it in. So John Wayne toilet paper has barbed wire, but it carries your, it carries your sawed off shotgun. <laughs> you mess with the toilet paper, you get shot. Or you get pulled, put into a gypsum hole in the ground that's really cold and yucky. It makes a mess. I'm not going to hit you. I'm not going to hit you. Hell, I'm not going to hit you. Damn. Mm. McClintock, classic movie. Made a lot of money. No, I don't think we needed that knowledge, but... Too much information. What? If you're using the cheap stuff, you haven't spent as much money as the expensive stuff. So you saved. Be more insane. I think it was Carol Burnett. They were doing the Snooty Society women. No, I think Or they were making fun of the Queen of England or something. I think the snow's up in the air and just very refined, you know.
Well, I made a mistake today. I drank a cup of coffee right here out of my Snoopy cup. I made a mistake. I had taken my blood pressure pill. By the time I got to Safeway, my teeth were floating. When I got home, my teeth were floating even more. They were going down the Niagara River. I had to run in here for the border. Not drink coffee and the blood pressure pill at the same time. No, that's nothing. This is a big cup of coffee. And this is a big cup of coffee. That's a small cup of coffee. And this is a small cup of coffee. Yeah, they did, but I had to race in the electric wheelchair and grab my bag and run into the bathroom. Twink. Hmm. I think there was a little creature in science fiction called a twink, but I'm not sure about that. Yeah, Ouija board. That's my um, spirit Halloween store Ouija board uh, cup. This bag tour today, my Chewbacca bag. And I bought this at 99 cent store and it started to fall apart today and so did the other bag, so it's distressing. Uh, tweakers are the methamphetamine addicts, which is a whole different <laughs> different thing. No. But I saw that and had to have it because George, I did a video on Coast to Coast AM saying don't use Ouija bars, they're dangerous. And Art Bell thought the same way, George Norrie thinks the same way. Five hour energy. I know if I drink five hour energy, it would be up for about seven weeks. I'm like I've had one hour energy <laughs> without drinking five hour energy. Yeah. You use the Ouija board. You don't know what's going to come through from the other side. It ain't going to be the Avon lady. I'll tell you that. I have done some protection spells. By the way, the other night, I saw the uh, shadow, whatever the hell it is, shadow kitty, shadow person, shadow creature, shadow bot, was sitting here and watching a video, and it ran right past me again, out the wall. Something's in here. This time, though, it did a weird thing. It knocked over my... Uh, base for my UFO coffee cup, my UFO, uh, I don't ever use it as a coffee cup, it, it's got a, a flying saucer stand on it, and knocked down my, I can't find my Battlestar Galactica Blu-ray, it's buried under the laundry, it's piled in front of the TV, and now it's not hot, I'm going to move that this weekend so I can watch my them. And that fell to the ground, and there was no cat there. There was nothing that would move it. it the stack fell to the floor on its own. And that's been sitting there for days, so that was weird. Nah, nah, nah. I have done protection spells in here. Yeah, 
I remember something. This is iron. And then it comes out of that coffee cup, they're going to get whapped back to the netherworld. Because iron will protect you against demon all, demons. No. I know, I knew not well. Can't remember his first name. Guy named, oh, Isaac Bonowitz. The only man to get a degree in magic. We're not talking about Harry Anderson close-up card magic. And he's a white ma white mage, and if I were to practice magic, it would be white magic, not black magic. That would be chaotic evil. I'm lawful good. As we used to say, Kathy talked about Moroni, you must miss Moroni. I said, 40 years of talking to Moroni, I miss the hell out of him. But I came up with the phrase, gawky, good as we know it. More like gawky. And that's all the characters I played. So, AD&D &D and D&D. &D. But, cold steel, cold iron. This is my 1.5 inch pry bar. Which is basically a crowbar. This alone will ward off the demons. And there's other... I could get protective glyphs, I can light certain candles, I do know the incantations. And if I don't, or can't remember them, there's lots of books on ceremonial magic I've got, so I can look it up. As someone who used to say in the press, you can look it up. Got, got salt, Morton salt, iodized, I got non-iodized, I, I think you're supposed to use a non-iodized. And if nothing else, I can make them feel disgusted if I can spray ketchup all over them. <laughs> Or I can show my picture of my mother. That might drive them off. No, I don't have any crystals. I used to have crystals. I used to have all kinds of stuff. But when I lost my storage, I lost all that stuff. And there's not a lot of room in here anymore. I'm trying to... I threw a big bag of garbage out today. I got another bag of stuff to go out. This is all... What the hell is this? This is going to get... Excuse me. Thrown out. There's more stuff to go through. I emptied this bin and there's still more stuff in here I gotta get rid of. I'm slowly throwing the stuff out. And then there's this will be tomorrow. This one. <coughs> and oh I do have two cans of friskies. And then there's this, which has already been opened. I didn't. I'll show that in another video. This is Bergen boxing stuff and then the roll of quarters. I wish I could exercise my asthma and my COPD. There's a white white magic creature that would eliminate that in my body. I'd be very happy. No, I've never watched the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Or as I like to call it, Smoking the Bear Goes Nuts. <laughs> and he's pissed. He's really mad. Smokey's got a chainsaw. No more. No more nice bear. He's tired of people lighting forest fires. Man chased protesters with a chainsaw in McAllen, Texas. They love them chainsaws when, remember when chainsaws are banned, only criminals have chainsaws. Uh, the guy on Taco Sex just had to buy a new chainsaw. His chainsaw wore out, cutting logs down and trees and everything. Chainsaws are nasty things. You can cut somebody, mess somebody real, really, you can mess yourself up with a chainsaw. I've heard accident stories of people cut their feet off and yuck. Yeah, what the hell are you gonna do with a chainsaw? 
I mean, if it's electric, you get a plug it in. If it's gas, I guess you could run the gas. But wouldn't somebody notice this guy walking up with a chainsaw? <laughs> I'd be leaving. Like Eddie Murphy said, I'm leaving. <laughs> I think it was Eddie Murphy. Look, it's a guy with a chainsaw. I will stand there and see what he does. Hell no. I am gone. Thank you, Matt Spoofer. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate it. And if everybody were to donate, I could get my 4x4 if we ever get another Prius. Pay off my traffic fines. Get my gold mining land. You can see me pan for gold live. If we got rich enough, you might even see Patty pan for gold live. Yeah, there was a guy who was going to, uh, he was MAGA and he was, there was a guy who was going to attack, there was another guy who was going to attack uh, MAGA people too the other day. So, gas chainsaw, started up chasing with it, then cussed him out. Hello, Maverick. Yes, thank you. Thank you, my subject. Thank you. <laughs> Unfortunately, Carson donated the Karnak turban, but I actually found a copy of that. I don't know if it fit me. Found that on eBay, the Karnak turban. I need the Karnak turban or a proper crown, you know. My luck, I'd be covered in melted imperial margarine. And then it would all go goo over me and go, yeah, you know. Um, that stuff was terrible, too. And Blue Bonnet, there was another one that everybody loves with Blue Bonnet on it. I tried that, my bonnet was all saggy with melted margarine all over it. <laughs> Well, he got beat up the front. Yeah, well, you know, if I were to carry a weapon, wouldn't be no bow, it'd be a repeating crossbow. Get more targets that way, but I wouldn't shoot anybody with a crossbow. Except in self-defense. We actually came up with a, I think there was an Arbalast, which was a crossbow with a crank. You could fire multiple, but now they got crossbows where you can fire multiple flechettes. And they're barbed like fish hooks, but they will go right through you like butter. I was thinking if you could cross the technology of a Gatling gun and a crossbow and just crank it, it would just fire about 50 arrows at once. That'd be nasty. That would remind you of something that a, a good crossbow will penetrate Kevlar, where the bullet won't. No, because Pittsburgh is Pittsburgh, California. And I am not going to tromp all over Pittsburgh, California <laughs> without a car. And Rush Limbaugh is taking the role of mayor of Reelsville, so I, I don't know where I could do I'd have to be a really small town, like 50 people or something, where I could ride around on a bicycle in an electric wheelchair. If you vote me, I promise to do absolutely nothing. That way, I, you never say I lied to you. <laughs> However, I will try to have a pot in every chicken and maybe chicken in every pot or should have came out the other way around. <laughs> I know I haven't been smoking pot. It just didn't. I, my brain went off somewhere. A potted chicken. There you go. No, 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 I'm not fostering any children. No. I got have trouble with Kathy. <laughs> the cats. Fuzzy, I love Fuzzy dearly. But every day, move, Fuzzy, move, Fuzzy, Fuzzy, move. Fuzzy sits there, or she goes to, I'm trying out the door. She runs to the door and gets in my way, or she, I almost step her. Today, Fluffy and Fuzzy were in the hallway in the dirty laundry. I almost stepped on both of them, but I couldn't see them. And I bought that, I bought this stupid light. And stupid light, I think I put the package in the other thing. Yeah, I put the package in the other thing. The stupid light I bought, these two square lights, they, they have a toggle. The lights work, but the double stick tape sucks. It won't stick to the walls, it fell to the floor. I bought that at, uh, where the hell did we buy that? We were somewhere. And it's terrible. Oh, I bought it at batteries and et cetera. Or et cetera. Yeah, so.
Okay, we got the car um, cleaned out. I got to go up Monday to vacuum it and wash the windows from the inside and clean part of the car. Kathy spilled something really sticky on the carpet. I got carpet cleaner. I got 409. I got 8 billion rolls of paper towels. And I got Windex. So we're going to clean all the windows and all the surfaces and get it nice. And, and I've got carpet fresh or something here. I could put, I don't want to put baking soda down because it'll stick to the carpet, but we're going to make, put all the covers, carpeting covers in the back hatch back together again, except for where the battery is, because I don't know how to put it back in and get it clean. And we'll get all the dirt off the floor and crumbs and pebbles and whatever else is in there. Uh... There is no Debbie, so don't start. And I had to modify the ad because it had Kathy's phone number, and tomorrow it will be changed. I don't want people harassing Kathleen. And tomorrow or Monday, the second phone will be activated and people, they can call me and I can always block trolls on the phone. I've done that already. Um, there was one call I got, it said restricted caller. Well, it said, well, you're restricted all to hell and you've now been blocked by restricted caller. So if you won't tell me who you are, I'll be dead if I'll talk to you. I think we should send online tro all trolls to Gitmo. Let them all live in harmony with the terrorists. It's our any I wonder if there's anybody still in Gitmo. Or send them to Easter Island or somewhere. <laughs> Devil's Island, I don't know. That's still there. There's no prison there. They get to live among the snakes and the poisonous spiders and the leeches. Of course, we confiscate their assets and redistribute it. Compensate the computers to go look for more trolls and then send them to Devil's Island. I am taking steps and doing certain things to protect us. I've already blocked two trolls today with the same person. Three trolls. Actually, two, because one was using two different email names. But he was stupid. He used the same name and insulted me. I can always remove the ad and place it later. No, 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 no. I got three troll emails. One offered me $1,200. You know, I'll bump it up to twelve fifty, and I said, you're out of your mind. The transmission of the air conditioning is worth a thousand dollars. The back battery is worth two hundred and fifty. It's brand new. That's twelve fifty right there. I'm not giving you the car away. This is not Price is Right or Let's Make a Deal with Door Number Three. Although this car may be considered a zonk, if you don't fix it, it's a zonk. You're damn right. I'll be there for the Prius sale of the Prius. But uh, I told Kathy we're going to take it to an undisclosed location. That will be nowhere near your apartment. And they will meet us there. Like a Starbucks, a mall, something like that. So that Kathy's location <clears throat> will not be divulged. And they wanted to know, know uh, what the VIN number is. You don't need to know the VIN number. You don't need to know the history of the car. Because then you'll determine where she lives. And I'm not going to allow that. It drives, it just doesn't drive very well right now. It goes up to 37 and it drops down to 11. That's why we need to get rid of it. Now, Patty will pull it there with her teeth on a rope. <laughs> just kidding. She's very strong, you know. While well, humming the national anthem.
Well, the car is listed as is. With a detailed history of the car since we owned it. And it apparently and obviously was not maintained by the previous owner. But I'm not going to give them the VIN number because then they can find a registration and find it where Kathy lives. Where you get the VIN numbers, hand me cash in the hand. We sign over the title, we sign over the certificate of uh, liability, you sign it, we sign it, turn it in DMV. It's yours now, bye-bye. Hand you the electronic keys and the registration and the title and it's yours. This car was not in the flood. And we have the paper for the repair a year ago, so we did on the valves and the spark plugs or something. I don't remember. Kathy's got the paper. And the paper on the head gasket. I saw the dead head gasket. It was all kind of scored. Not fired, just worn out. It's in the car if someone wants to see it. So, but the first message I got was, oh, blessings. Anytime I get something like that, I know it's a troll. Someone wanted to buy a car, didn't wish you, but it's like saying greetings and felicitations. It's too odd. And they were a troll. Now, if we go <clears throat> three, four, five months, we don't sell it. There's no real offer. These were all troll offers. <clears throat> and the one guy went from, I repair these cars and sell them to people, like old people, who can't afford a car. Then he said, I'll make you an offer to get lower to what you're asking. Well, I'm asking 3500 so how is it lower? What am I, higher and lower on prices, right? And don't ask me what that game is, I don't remember right now. Then he said, you must think, you must be really stupid. Or something, words to that effect. So I blocked him. I blocked the other one. Twelve hundred. He goes to twelve fifty. But they weren't real offers, and I'm not going to take twelve hundred fifty dollars. I will take twelve thousand five hundred <laughs> if someone wants to pay that for the George and Kathy mobile. Well, oh, Granny. I figure you could cut the roof off and make a planter out of it. Take the uh, tires off. Make planters out of those tires, too. <laughs> we don't pay taxes. Warren's Toad Security, that ain't gonna happen. We need cash to buy the next car. We don't need a tax rate. Well, you come up with ridiculous stuff, it makes you mad. I better yet write the yellow if I get upset. My channel don't tell me not to yell. Don't come up with outrageous things. I won't yell.
We need a we need four figure money. Not one, not two, but three thousand something. Cash. As is, no refunds. No. I don't sell my alien heads. And I've told people numerous times, do not bring that up either. That's two down and one to go. No. Orangey is that way. Three, three and a half blocks away. I've been eating hard pretzels and soft pretzels all my life. This is the... It's not going to happen. We will take no deal less than $3,000. So don't even suggest it. I'll go out this weekend. I've done it before. You can look at the history of my videos. Tiny one, gray, orangey, rocky, mama cat, kitten, fluffy, little girl, all on video. Well, you can't buy a new, except for one like the LED one. They're on eBay. I do not sell my stuff. I spent money to buy it. Why would I sell it? And that's not plugged in because the vacuum cleaner is in the way that keeps snagging it. All right, that's enough. That's the same thing. That means that's what's his face who came back under another name. Goodbye. The other one had cancer. He was astray. He was dying on his last legs, literally. And he kept coming and being annoying. I'm not going to put up with it anymore. Cat, they like sloppy yos. I'm not sure about lemonade. I blocked him the other night for good. He kept he kept agitating. Twizzler, hand kept twizzler. And I can't eat sloppy joes anymore. They attack me. I ate those off through junior high school and high school. Grease like you wouldn't believe, you know, you'd have you'd have the meat and you'd have the peppers, you'd have the sauce, and you'd have a layer of grease that looked like it was an oil slick. That would attack me. I'm be in pain. Back, 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 back. I love this. Economic Grooves Room. You won't need a stimulus check if you sign up for a cockamamie program you have to pay big money for. Wrong again. Financial breath. I need a stimulus check. So does Kathy. A stimulus check and two pair of pants. <laughs> uh, I got too many coffee cups on my floor. No, I'm on the floor because I, I grab a cup of coffee and then I grab a different cup of coffee and wash it out with soap water and then I grab another cup of coffee and by the time I turn around, I got six cups of coffee sitting here and one teacup with a tea bag in it. And I forget, to, I had to put them on the floor because I had these 
train flies for two months. So I couldn't hang up my coffee cups. I had about 12 different coffee cups hanging up above the sink, but I had to put fly paper down there, sent to me by a fan, as opposed to an air conditioner. But um, bum Or a swamp cooler. Or evaporative cooler, as they say at the giant. They don't want a Costco. It's gigantic. It's like this big. It's huge. It's $389 or thing. The problem with those is it's portable. I think they use it for landing things at the airport. They put a light on it and they can see the planes coming in. Planes can see it. But you got to have a way to vent all that heat coming out of the back. You got to have it like by the screen door or something. I'm not going to get orangey tonight. I'll do it. It's nighttime. You won't see him. Look, I have this light which needs to be recharged this is the vivitar camera okay that's charged but i don't know how good it charges i'm gonna have to have it charged that's how i film at night with this light but i'm not going out this time of night because it's too late and the raccoons are out no chase orange away from his food i looked at that i was making egg salad and banana for lunch did you put the banana in the egg salad or is that separate There is that fruit salad and bananas that people with jello or something. And grapes. Or cherries or peaches. So I'll go in, I'll film orangey tomorrow in the daytime. Mm. That's your way to tea bed. I make hot tea with lemon. And honey, I'm getting low on honey. Yee! Some things man was not meant to eat. Pickles and jello are it, <laughs> unless you're pregnant. And that's a weird craving. Lime jello and pickles. So it's all green. How do you tell where the pickles were? I drink pickle juice at times too, but I'm doing that on my left. Lots of plastic and Heinz pickles under this belt. Bite my lip. Ow. Bit my lip. The teeth here bite my lip here. The teeth are there bite my lip here. Hurt. I have sharp teeth. Not as sharp as Harley the cat, the kitten, but. That's almost healed. Something bit me, clawed me, whatever on the cat these there's the remnant. And for Christmas she puts a flashing red bow and dresses as an av as an avocado. So are mine. Fuzzy scratched me this morning. She jumped in the bed. No claws like razors. Hello, Richard. Welcome. Why am I doing this? Oh my God. Hour and a half. And if I get enough for 
a certain revenue stream, I will take part of the money in that to the car fund. Thank you, thank you. Yes, Richard hasn't been on the while. My leg, it's, 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 oh, it hurt this morning, it's okay. She jumps up and she cuts the hell on my leg at times. Most of us. Oh, Richard's leg. I didn't know there was anything wrong with Richard's leg. What's wrong with Richard's leg? Not enough gravy? <laughs> no mint? Uh, not at this time. Sorry. I am not in the mood to do a live stream. I need to do cleaning. I need to do laundry. I need to take some pain pills for my back. I need to get some sleep because I didn't get much last night. I went to sleep at about 5.30 and I woke up at 9.30 feeling like first I'm tired and then I feel like horrible. I took me till 2 o'clock to get out of here because I just couldn't get going. I emptied one cat box. And every time I've got a video with someone else, it hasn't earned me any money and I need money to help get a car and a newer Mac and other things and people don't donate. So all it does is get other people views and I don't get anything out of it. I've done enough of those already. I would do one with the mass spoofer and I have plans one day if I ever go to uh, East Oil Sump, Texas. I would show up and call for mass spoofer, call for mass spoofer, call for Philip Morris and if you get him he's really old by now. Or I'd show up in Oklahoma and look for her. <laughs> she has issues with Oklahoma with their multiple earthquakes. Uh, this is live stream, but I don't want to do one with anybody else right now. I'm, I'm, I just went through being baked Alaska without the Alaska for two days. And when that happens, it takes me two or three days to recover. I can sit here in a chair, and after a while, my back starts hurting more, and I've carried the groceries home, and that hurts my poor injured back. And my butt gets hurt, starts hurting. And I start to get sleepy. And uh, my body says, go feed mama, cat, and kitten, and lie down. I did do one thing. I took the other comb, which is still in the bed. I cannot find my cat brush. I'm going to buy a retractable cat brush. But I combed little girl's fur of the burrs and used my other comb to curl her fur and got enough to make two or three other cats because she's shedding. And she liked being combed with the comb. She likes being brushed. She's very sweet. Uh, Chauncey is not my cat. I've tried to pick him up. He runs away. Not going to happen. Sorry. He will let me pet him in five, three, four months ago. He would hiss at me all the time like a, like a, like a cobra. So, and he's even cut down on attacking orangey and gray. So, but he want, he's a male and he lives next door and it's his territory. So, And Monday I get my glasses. I can see what I'm reading. And remember, people, there's a thing called sleep. And when it's 90 degrees, I don't sleep because it's too damn. I have the door open. I might get two hours of sleep and I, it's so hot in here. I think one or two nights ago it was, it was 90 in here at 4.30 in the morning. So I'm, I'm like, I'm in misery. Right now, by the way, it is 78 degrees. 
No, sleeping is never on. I, I do not have the bones of red elk. Art Bell might have the bones of red elk. <laughs> or might have had the bones of red elk. And sleeping is not overrated. Sleeping is one of my favorite things to do as long as I wake up and don't uh, not wake up, which would be, you know, a problem. Or wind up in a coma or something. No, I'm not I'm not getting in a rowboat with anybody that I don't know. Sorry, ain't gonna happen. Don't even think about that. When I get a four by four, if I got enough donations to help buy it, which I'm not, or if I get the stimulus check, which would be the nest the start of the seed money to get one. Kathy will drive it. We will go to Pahrump. We will go to Las Vegas. I will see about going to the Little Alien Inn and maybe look at Area 51. There's a difference. I'm not talking about death coma. It's half facetious. Remember, I've been dead two and a half times. Death is overrated. At least the temporary death, as opposed to the permanent big death. Big bad death. Big death. Came into town, six foot four, had a side, the black robe, and much more. Big death. Big bad death. Had a long list of names, the size, size of a cow. You knew if your name was on it, you were in trouble and how big death. Big bad death. Anyway, Kathy wants to go to Grand Canyon. She won't go without me, so I'm stuck going to the Grand Canyon, somewhere I have no interest in going to. It's a big hole in the ground. And I, my luck, I'd fall in there. But my luck, I'd never hit bottom. Or I'd hit bottom and I'd wind up in Beijing. You remember you hit the bottom one, you went up the other side. Okay, I know you are now. Uh, you're a certain troll, I think, who said he would pay for me to go to San Diego to play blackjack. So I'm going to remove that and put you on a timeout. I got to harass that guy for months. So. I think I blocked you once. And when I pinned him down and said, are you going to pay for my clothing, my hotel accommodations, my food, my airfare? He got very indignant like all trolls do because they're all full of crap. They're liars. And he's on my block, people, on my Gmail. This went on for two or three months. I ain't walking on no glass fly bridge. Look, I walk on the, on the carpet here and the house starts to shake. No, I'm not going to do that. I would, there'd be a crack forming. The entire ridge would collapse with me in it. Ain't going to happen. I am not the Walendas. Doing the glass trapeze. And I saw that Korean version of the Towering Inferno. They walked across a glass bridge and it shattered and all the people fell down and died. No, 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 no. I don't care if it goes around the Grand Canyon. I don't care if it goes around and comes back. I ain't going on it. Can't even go on it. I'll film her. I have a fear of heights. I'm not going on no glass bridge. I have a fear of bridges. Please don't suggest this again, people. I have a phobia about bridges and heights. You want me to go on a glass bridge? Only glass I want to have is a giant glass of Snapple I can dive into if it's too hot. Eat Snapple, of course. Then drink my way out. Now it'd make your grand trip exciting. You used to be a quivering mass of protoplasm 
and they had to take me away and put put me in a jacket and put me in the rubber room because I'd be go, I'd be scared to death. Spoofer, stop! I asked you to stop. No more. I ain't going on no damn bridge. I got enough trouble going over freeway overpasses. They also scare me. Well, it'd be fun to find out, wouldn't it? Here, Kathy, hold this. Film me swimming in this. Can you float in the peach snapple? Like you're in the Dead Sea or the Salton Sea. Let's find out. Well, can you float on your back? Or do you have to float face down and come up for every few seconds and spot like a whale? <laughs> My favorite drink. I'll find. I would find out in a hurry. If it was. Let's see. Hold on. Nope, not sticky. It might be sticky if you were at 100 degree heat. I don't know. But I have big ice cubes in there. One of the size of those giant dice in you know, a magic store. Or something. Or 10,000 small, hundred side dice or something. I didn't clean Kathy's apartment. Kathy and Patty did. I did nothing. I gave moral encouragement. I had, it was too hot, and I had other things to do, and wasn't feeling well. And I have cleaned Kathy's apartment in the past, and it's she would drive me over, pick me up, take me over, stay overnight, and it took three days, and I couldn't do it anymore. My back it was out of my knees, give out, my feet give out, or my hands give out, like my wrist just now from walking that damn cane last night. Ow, it still hurts. <sighs> Patty helped clean too, but. Most of the work this time was done by Kathy. Maybe I could train the bugs to do it. But stinky. No stinky. I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm going to remove that. Sounds like a troll comment to me. We're getting off topic here with weirdness out loud. Sir Bolton. I don't remember. I don't remember what the hell it was that was stinking. You got me. I'd have to look it up. <clears throat> I don't know. Cardboard on it. I'm going to tape this up, except you left one end open. Well, we'll find out tomorrow. In bird unboxing life. See my game when I get the table cleared off. Well, I think I'm going to end this because my inner 
thighs or whatever they call are hurting from sitting in this chair, even though I'm on a cushion. I've done been sitting here too long. And I'm getting sweaty and it's starting to hurt. So that's it. I'm done. I gotta go feed, lie down for a few minutes, then go down and feed Mama Cat and Kitten and then go to sleep. I got a lot of work to do tomorrow. And I won't go anywhere for cat feeding because there's the bus the system suck here. But I'll be back. Okay, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great night. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool as the case may be. It's been 106 minutes and 15 seconds after the hour. And it is 11.35 p.m. on a Friday. Oof. So, and you guys need to start donating. So, I'll never get a car or a Carly or the ODN port for live videos in the car, new, new Prius at this rate, at $2 a person. One person. So, start as helping the channel grow. By the way, I, I'm over, I forget if it's 25 or 2,689 people or 2,789. So, have a good night. I will say that. He won't understand it, but I'll say it. <laughs> stay wet, warm, dry, or cool as the case may be. Stay warm and stay, stay cool and dry or wet and dry. Stay safe. Have a great night. And I am out of here. See you tomorrow. There's a chat in here. Bye-bye.